First of all, can you just explain to us uh, what went into this decision, what you and Lauren maybe saw about the city of Boston that made you want to choose this long term? Um, I think for the most part, man, I think since I came here and kind of the situation, how I got here, it's, it's only been love. So uh, the city of Boston, not only them, but the organization made it super easy for us to kind of navigate and get through a, a time that was a bit stressful for us. So just an appreciation, you know, and we, we love the city. Um, we love this organization, the players in it and uh, what they stand for, doing our best to try to get this lab or another banner. Was this something important for you to do considering how you got here and how the place that you've been in? You mean the timing or the just? The timing, the fact that it's an extension. And right. Um, I think it is for me, you know. Um, I, I think being able to uh, lock into more years and get more time with, with players and, and this organization, um, I'm just excited. I'm, I'm excited to be here and, and to move forward. What were your expectations coming into to Boston, given all the, obviously, you expected to be in Milwaukee, you're here. How has this met your expectations? Well, yeah, once I got here, or, or even once I knew I was getting traded here, this was this was a part of, of what I wanted or I, what, what I envisioned. Um, being in a great organization, being here for uh, a lengthy amount of time, and, and being able to play along guys like JT and JB, and, uh, really try to, you know what I mean, get more banners, get more rings. Drew, how, how big is it that you guys got this done before the offseason? Um, honestly, it's a blessing. Uh, I played, this is my 15th year. Um, I'm 33. Uh, I think that uh, the opportunity that God's given me to be able to already play for this many years and then kind of lock it in for more for me to be healthy and uh, for organization just to, to, to see me and, and uh, appreciate what I bring to a team is is a blessing for me. So at the end of the day, I am glad that we got it done before the playoffs. Um, if it would have happened after, I still would have been happy. I still would have been locked in, but uh, just really, really happy and really blessed. How did it come together? Excuse me? How did it come together? Has um, been an ongoing conversation? Yeah, it was an ongoing conversation. It was, uh, I feel like it was pretty, I don't know, I thought it was pretty easy. You know, um, I think mutually we kind of just came to an agreement and felt like this was what was best for not only me, but for the team. And uh, just hope it works, you know. I, I, I want to be here. I want to win multiple rings. And I've heard people say that here plenty of times. So I'm, I'm ready for that. And you've talked about it. How has being here, working with Joe, kind of re-inspired you as far as the game and, and how you view your Yeah, team? Joe is definitely, um, um, grown my game, grown kind of my visual perspective on basketball where uh, every year I, I, I do plan to grow, but I think being able to give me a dis different responsibility to look at the game differently, especially with the players and the pieces that we have, uh, I've never been on a team like this. So it's been fun just to just to get to know Joe and kind of his, his craziness and his schemes, but at the same time really see our team put it together. Your mind. About him in the beginning, you thinking in the beginning, I'll be more of a role player on this team, and then him sort of encouraging, like you have to be a huge piece of this team, yeah. not just a role player. And where do you, where are you at now with that mentality? Um, really, just being me, uh, being where that, wherever the team fits or, or whatever the team needs. Uh, there's going to be days where I'm going to be scoring a lot, but there's going to be days where I'm going to have to defend and get steals. Or I guess that's every day, but there might be days where I'm shooting corner threes and. Um, I feel like whatever whatever fit that I fit in during that game or during that time during that moment, um, I'm, I'm here for that. Has it been, been difficult to try to has it been difficult to try to find that fit, or has that come kind of naturally to to who you are in, in making sure that you are doing what's needed in that day to, to help winning? Yeah, I think there was a little uh, I think there's a little bump there in the in the beginning. Just again trying to get my bearings in the city in general, um, but I think it comes pretty easy. Um, just the type of guy that molds to my, my situation. Um, and honestly, these players are really good. I think when you play with them, they make the game easy for you. Um, this is probably one of the most that I've got so many open shots and just really just had to lock in and knock them down. Uh, so it's been, um, like I said, maybe a little bit in the beginning, but it's been pretty easy. When you, you had those couple questions for Drew? When, when, when you went this route in Milwaukee in 2021, signing the extension before the playoffs, was that piece of mind valuable going into the postseason? I think so. I think knowing that um, whatever we build here and whatever happens this season is just going to continue to grow and get better the seasons after that. Um, but honestly, I think during this time, it, it, yes, I was thinking about it, but I would say that the most important thing for me is that I wanted to uh, 
just continue to show the city, continue to show my team that I want to be here and I want to play, if that was if I signed the contract or not. You mentioned the adjustment. What's been the biggest adjustment for you coming here? And did you view this kind of as potentially that, you know, last stop for you, long term stop or you know, did that kind of have be something you have to feel out over the years? Uh, here I feel like that was something that I, I wanted at when I signed here. Um, obviously knowing this is my fifteenth year, I know, you know, I mean time is is coming, so I think being able to be on a team and being in an organization like this is is big for me. But I think from the beginning, this is this is a part of what I wanted. You've won, you've won a championship. Last question: Chris, What is it going to take for, for this group to kind of lock in and achieve what it's capable of in your view? Uh, a little bit of luck, a lot of health, and I think uh, a lot of mental fortitude. I think for us to be strong mentally, where. Um, a lot of people, if a game goes wrong or somebody misses a big shot or does something like that, you hear the noise. But I think as a team, we've done a really good job of blocking all that out. Um, even when, I mean, we're the number one team in the, in the league and uh, they have to find something to talk about. I think we've done a good job of just blocking out all the noise and sticking close as a team. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.